for this species pair were going to get high. So high pitched in fact, that unfortunately they're beyond the hearing range for some older people. Goldcrests and tree creepers are diminutive woodland birds and they can be hard to see well. But if you can hear them and you're able to commit the songs to memory, you'll probably find they're more common than you thought. For goldcrest, I think of a very narrow gold ring. Narrow because the song is thin and high pitched and a ring because it goes around in little circles at a very fast tempo before ending with a sparkling flourish. It's delivered quite frantically and often with several repeats in a row with the gaps about as long as the song itself, around three seconds. Tree creepers often work their way up trees when they're feeding before dropping to the base of the next one. But their songs are the exact opposite. They start high, the same sort of pitch as a goldcrest, but then quickly slide down the scale before ending with an upward flourish, almost as if the bird has realised it's supposed to be going up the tree, not down. It could be my hearing, but I find that part of the song more strident, so it starts very thin and difficult to hear and then becomes more obvious, especially if there's a lot of background noise. The flourish at the end can sound a bit like a cold tick call, but if you leave it long enough, hopefully the bird will sing again. You'll probably have to wait longer than you do for a goldcrest though, because a tree creeper's delivery is more measured. It usually waits about nine or 10 seconds between delivering each song phrase.